Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Good morning. Good day. Good afternoon. Welcome to. <clears throat> excuse me. Pray with Nike. For just ten minutes. Welcome, welcome. This Friday. Beautiful Friday. This beautiful Friday. It's 8 a.m. EST here in America. It's 1 p.m. in Nigeria and the United Kingdom. It's 4 p.m. in Dubai, UAE. Um, it should be about in 8 p.m. in Australia. Welcome, welcome. Come in. Let's pray. Let's worship Him. Just for 10 minutes. Let's pull away from our very busy schedules at this time good morning good morning kingston jamaica hallelujah father's house there's a place for me i'm a child of god yes i welcome 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 we're children of god you're a child of god come in come in we're chosen we're not forsaken Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We adore you. Oh, glory, glory. Bless him. Whether you feel like it or not, he is good. He is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We come to you. We draw strength from you. At this very time, in this very moment, we acknowledge you are God. We acknowledge you the strength of our lives. We acknowledge your wisdom. We acknowledge you the author and finisher of our faith. Ancient of days, mighty rock, Abba, Father, that you are. We, we, we thank you. We bless you. We worship and magnify you. We give our hearts to you. We welcome you again into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are a teacher, you are a helper, you are a guide. We lean on you. Show us the way where there seems to be no way. Open up our minds to creativity. Lead us in the way that we should go. We've come to align our hearts with you. We've come to align our minds with your plans and purposes for our lives. We look to you for strength even in this moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Beautiful people. Um, I'm sure you've had a great week, and if the week has not been so great, today is Friday, we've come, you know, to the end of a working week, and I know it's been rough for some, um, yeah, news of, of, of killings, news of, maybe we've had some bad news around us this week, but I want us at this time to just refresh our hearts, refresh our minds, and cast all our cares on him, and say, Lord, have your way the things that we do not understand lord reveal to us um let faith faith let us pray that faith will will arise in our hearts as we study god's word as we read the things he has said concerning us psalm 119 verse 160 says the entirety of your word is truth and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever that we will know the truth of God's word and it says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free so we thank you father God that truth will be revealed to us even this week that we will go even into our work into our homes um, knowing truth walking in truth walking in light um, um, his word says we are the light of the world we're not the darkness of the world we are the light of the world so father we are enforcing your light this very moment in our situation in 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 communities in in our homes in our workplaces oh thank you jesus we say light light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it the word of god also says that um, evil will bow before good and the the wicked are the gates of the righteous. So, so we will be righteous. We will do right by him. We will ask for strength. We ask for wisdom. At this time, I want us to pray and lift up those whose hearts are really heavy. Those whose hearts are really heavy. Someone has um, lost a loved one. Um, your hearts are heavy right now in Jesus' name. Um, 
He gives beauty for ashes, Lord. You give beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that the spirit of heaviness will be lifted. A depression will be lifted in the name of Jesus, that joy will come and rise up once again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mahandria kishtahandria keteli mashita hiya. Lutri Keshikadia Bataya. I heard the news of a chef chef um in Abuja murdered. Um um just ugly things around. Yes, sometimes bad things happen to seem seemingly bad things happen to good people, but in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for comfort for families, I'm praying for strength to hold on, um, to go on. I'm praying for for succor and deep comfort and purpose and for every adversity that something beautiful will come out something beautiful will spring forth that purpose will be discovered in the name of jesus oh thank you father thank you lord we give you praise so yesterday someone <clears throat> mentioned in my timeline accra ghana welcome someone mentioned in my timeline prayer for life partner wanting to know god's choice and all of that and i say to you that even as we pray and you get you know intimate with god serious with your work with god you see you will know your father's voice you will know god's voice in you you will not be confused even at the same time at the same time you are checking your spirit if you notice red flags about any but you don't force yourself into that relationship. The wisdom of God will preserve you. Let us pray for wisdom. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for that one who is trusting you for a life partner or who seems to be confused right now about who to choose, who to go with. My Father, my God, that you are, you make a way where there seems to be no way. Your word says, we'll hear a voice behind us saying, turn this is the way to go. So, Father, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leading. You are a shepherd. We should not lack. You lead us beside still waters. So, I'm praying in Jesus' name that we will be led. This person will be led to still waters, to quietness, to a deep knowing, uh, to a deep knowing, to a deep approval on the choice of a life partner. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for as many that need to even put in the work to study, study the word of God, study relationships, read books, read um, um, articles and stories of, of, on marriage. Um, this thing can really work because it is an institution ordained by God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So I thank you, Lord, for everyone trusting you, everyone in that corner. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What a beautiful day. I choose to look at beauty. I choose to look at um, what God has made, not what the enemy has created. Someone says, pray for my mom. Okay, I pray for your mom. I don't know what exactly is going on with her. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for your mom, whatever it is, that the Lord will come through for her in Jesus' name. Uh, someone says here, I don't believe in God. I pray that the light of God will shine into your heart. I pray the love of God will shine into your heart. We can't force you to believe, but I pray you will have an encounter that God himself will reveal himself to you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are light. Yes. Thank you for purpose. Someone says, I have bad dreams. and on, So I pray against this flow of bad dreams in Jesus' name. Um, focus your mind on whatsoever is good. The Bible says whatsoever is, in Philippians 4, 8, whatsoever is good, whatsoever is lovely, whatsoever is good of good report, think on these things and the peace of God will keep your heart and mind. Sometimes it's about what we meditate on. It's about what we fill our minds with. And then, you know, in the night, all these ugly dreams come. Someone chasing you in the dream, you know. Well, I pray that in the dream, you will turn around and start chasing back any ugly thing that is chasing you. You have dominion. You have an authority. You, you have authority. Walk in authority. Yes, you're made in the image of God. Walk in dominion. Yes, you have that wisdom. You have that power. You have the power of Christ in you. Hallelujah. I pray for that person that says, I'm looking for a job. Yes, search for a job, but look within you and look at the gifts God has given to you. Hallelujah. Look at the gifts God has given to you. Begin to use those gifts. Okay? Begin to offer those gifts. Serve with those gifts. Go on social media. Yes, put out what you can do. 
put your telephone number, your contact details, and you find how people will connect with you and say, hey, I need your services, I need your civil services. You will be paid for that. So be an employer of yourself if you cannot find a job yet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless you from Douglasville, Georgia here. Thank you. We should connect soon. <laughs> Someone says, lastly, I'm going to take this because 10 minutes is gone already. Please pray for Kashmir, who was abducted weeks ago, to return safe and sound in Jesus' name. Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray for Kashmir, who was abducted. I don't know where he was abducted from, kidnapped from, but in Jesus' name, Lord, because we have come to you to ask, Lord, we ask, Lord, that he be released supernaturally. Lord, override the weakness of governments what they should do to get him out lord um whoever is supposed to go in there and rescue him lord in jesus name we ask for your push we ask for your own wisdom and power father god to cause him to be released this very moment, this very moment, this very weekend, I decree, I declare it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We receive a testimony with respect to Kashmir that was abducted. Oh, thank you. We declare the prisoners go free. We set at liberty those who are bound in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. All these evil things should not be happening. We are light and we're going to enforce light in darkness all around us. We are going to insist. So please, um, when you hear of his release, um, please send me a testimony. Send me an email, info at nikkeademe.com. I want to hear about Kashmir in the end. I really want to hear. Thank you. So friends, go out into this week. Someone has a testimony. He says, I came out of financial crisis as an individual and a company. I decreed, I declare, is that a testimony or faith confession? Whatever it is, let it be so in Jesus' name. Come out of financial crisis in Jesus' name. From Canada, I welcome you. Someone is prayer for family and friends. Um, yes, we should pray for the Prime Minister of jamaica in jesus name i pray for the honorable minister andrew wholeness we pray for him we pray for his family in jesus name amen oh thank you so friends well time is fast spent but maybe i'll just take a minute or two to just um you know just celebrate us and thank us for it's been two straight weeks and a day of prayer with nikkei for just 10 minutes but it's only Mondays to Fridays. So tomorrow is Saturday. No pray with Nikke till Monday. And Monday by the grace of God. <laughs> I believe that I would not have been told to stop by then. For it's, We're going to run it for as long as I have that release to stop. So keep joining. Tell your friends. Tag them. It's only 10 minutes. 10 minutes of your day, of your night, whatever time. It's only 10 minutes. And it's meant for intimacy with God. It's meant for realignment. Um, it's not to replace our work. It's meant for strength. It's meant to recenter us and for us to remember that, hey, we are made in the image of God. We can decree, we can declare, we can cast our cares on him, you know, and go on with our work in that we are supposed to do. It's not supposed to cheat on employer's time or on your time to do other things. It's just to give God honor in our hearts. You know, even if you're in front of your laptop, you're joining us under your breath, you're praying, receiving strength, receiving word, receiving encouragement. It's word-based and it's love-based. God loves you. I love you too. Keep joining me Monday to Friday. Oh, welcome from Switzerland. Thank you. Oh, I didn't see this prayer point. Battling with spinal cord injury. Father, we ask for your wisdom, your healing power to come through and wisdom for the doctors as well in Jesus' name. Those who have lost their loved one. Thank you, Wally. Yes, I prayed about that. Welcome, Cyprus. Love you all the way from Cyprus. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of suffering. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Strength and grace. Paul said, um, I prayed for this thorn to be taken away. God said, my grace is sufficient for, 
for you. Just rest in his grace, rest in his strength and be open um, to see what he will say to you um, and the way out. Okay, he's the strength of your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So love you. Someone said, don't stop. It's amazing. Okay. So today I crave your indulgence. indulgence. We've gone way more than 10 minutes, but just because I wanted to, you know, just chat with us a little bit more because just because today is Friday. So go on and have an amazing weekend. Whatever you do this weekend, rest, refresh yourself. Um, those who have to work over the weekend, those who have work shifts, go on and be amazing. Okay. And Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Bye for now and see you on Monday. Don't forget to leave comments for me once I post this. And you can go to YouTube as well and watch. Um, this will be uploaded in about 30 minutes after this. Bye again. Bye-bye.